हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क टाइप्स देयर डिवाइसेस एंड डिफरेंट टोपोलॉजीज विथ एग्जाम्पल आई हैव मेंशन कंप्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर्स लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन At the end of this video, you should learn about different network architectures like client-server and peer-to-peer -peer architecture. At the end, we will discuss some question banks that will be helpful for your university examination. Now, the first point is what exactly network architectures? See, as we discussed earlier, there are different types of networks like local area network, metropolitan area network. and wide area network under that network there are different types of devices are present like computers printers scanners then hub switch routers right so all these devices are arranged in particular manner they have their own structure for communication purpose right so this design of computer network is called as network architecture this network architecture having their own rules and protocols that's why they provide the best service towards the user now there is a network architect who design this complete network architecture and also handle the working of this networks there are two types of network architecture mainly that is peer to peer network and client server network let discuss in detail the first architecture is peer to peer architecture see here in this particular diagram this is a structure of peer to peer network there are total four nodes are present nodes means any devices like whether it is computers or printer or hub or anything okay means all the devices in present in network which is called as node now in this network there are total four nodes are present and these nodes are connected with each other see here this node is connected to this node this node and again this node right that's why which is also called as point to point network next point is this node connected to this node in bidirectional format bidirectional means they perform sending and receiving this operation simultaneously in peer to peer architecture there is no any central server is present here all the nodes have equal privileges they equally share and receive information with each other that's why this peer to peer architecture useful only in small environments which is useful up to 10 computers only that's why this peer to peer architecture used as per the requirement only this network architecture used in business in education in military or in blockchain and cryptocurrency technology as per the requirement which is useful for only in small environments next now what are the advantages of peer to peer network first there is no any central server is present here all the pieces are connected with each other that's why they have a less cost and easy to set up and maintain a complete network and all these pieces are directly linked with each other that's why they perform the efficient communication with each other now what are the disadvantages of peer to peer network first this architecture not be used in large environment where more than 10 pieces are used this architecture not useful for that purpose there is no central server is present that's why we cannot backup the data and we can't maintain the security unauthorized user also access those nodes easily now suppose any node will get fail okay and there is a issue in any node so we can't share the information with each other so these are the disadvantages of peer to peer network next now the next network architecture is client server architecture in our daily life we regularly use client server architecture this is one of the most powerful architecture see here in this particular image 
there are multiple clients whether it is laptops from mobile from pcs right and there is a one server so server is also one computer but they have a more power powerhouse of different resources and different operations this client server architecture based on request response technique where client provide a particular request to the server and server give a response as per the request of the client just take one example suppose this client want to send request to the server suppose client want to search www.youtube.com this official website so client use a particular browser for example chrome browser and they type this particular website and this request goes to the server server receive the client request at that time they establish the connection between client and server and according the client request server gives a response to the client right so this is a basic communication between client and the server and this server perform all the major operations they provide the or maintain the security between client and server communication and they also provide the network management there are different types of server mail server file server and web server or each applications having their own server suppose whatsapp so whatsapp application having their own server youtube also having their own server means their data have stored in one centralized server right so this is called as client server architecture that is request and response technique is used now what are the advantages of client server network see due to centralized server there is a one central server we can store all the data on that server that's why we can easily backup and recover data through that server and there, there is a high speed resources right we can uh, what we want to search a particular thing on internet within a second we can get the result right so there is a high speed communication between client and server we can easily access the data and they provide the better security by using different firewalls then uh, antivirus techniques are used right now what are the disadvantages of client server network see uh, sometimes we heard the news like whatsapp server is down right suppose uh, facebook server is down right so when whatsapp server is down we can't exchange the information we can't send a message and we can't use the functionality of whatsapp right that's why if the server is fail client may lose the data they can't access the services or functionality of that application and client server architecture is expensive as compared to peer to peer network architecture because they have a own centralized server and they require the large memory for storing information another thing is there is a network administrator so this skill person is required there who can manage all the resources and who can manage all the communication areas so this is called as client server architecture client send request to the server and server give response to the client as per their request now how this communication is performed exactly we will discuss in next sessions now as per previous year question paper these are the two most important question they uh, sometimes they ask explain client server and peer to peer network for 6 marks here you have to mention uh, what exactly client server network uh, there are two advantages or disadvantages their applications with diagram okay or they ask explain client server network architecture only for 4 marks so basically you should prepare these two points and that with a uh, very easy points right so you should prepare according your exam so thank you keep learning